Welcome back, it's 446 here on a, well, some of you are dealing with fog for your Tuesday morning, but not everyone, certainly not in the immediate metro area. But if you are getting on the roads, keep this in mind, our dense fog advisory going till 9 a.m. Here's a live view of the city of New Orleans looking out from the West Bank. Notice no visibility problems, but when you look at the visibility map, you can see reserve and really up the river parishes towards Baton Rouge up into Ascension Parish and then in Baton Rouge itself dealing with dense fog. So that's where the worst of it's going to be right there along I-10. Now I-12 on the North Shore checking in fine in Slidell, but a little patch here in Hammond, also in Bogalusa, and then most of the South Shore notice not reporting any visibility problems all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. So that'll be with us the next couple of hours by 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock or so. A lot of the fog will be gone and we'll be looking at a nice day. We do warm up mid 80s this afternoon, coupled with a lot of sunshine. If you're in the sun, it will feel quite warm. But the thing that's going to help us out today is we're going to get a little break from the humidity. We've had it back for a couple days. It will take a dip this afternoon. So this morning starting off a little muggier. These are dew point temperatures, so a measurement of how muggy it feels. They'll be in the 50s and 40s by this afternoon. That's fairly low for our standards, so enjoy that. And then by tonight, the sun goes down. That moisture will build back in and will be with us tomorrow morning. We may have some patchy fog tomorrow as well. Rain on radar. Well, it's hard to find. We've had out towards some out towards our sounds, but the bigger storms have been off towards Mobile and getting into the um, Gulf Shores area just north of that and into the Florida Panhandle. I think with our dry air around today, the rain chances are going to be about zero. They may be slightly higher near our coastal areas, but most of us below 10% today. Same thing tomorrow and honestly Thursday is looking about the same with lower humidity and uh, lower rain chances. Now Friday's a different story. Friday I do have a better chance of showers and storms. It's still not exactly here how much rain we're going to get, but I think we're going to see a few more thunderstorms there on Friday. And then once we get into the weekend, things begin to dry back out, but we really start to warm things up. So Jazz Fest weekend two. Here we go. 86 on Thursday, 84 on Friday. Slightly chance or a slightly higher chance of some thunderstorms during the daytime potentially, so we need to watch that. And then for the weekend, mostly dry. But look at this 86 on Saturday turns to 88 on Sunday and the humidity is going to be higher coming up, so we will probably feel close to 90 and I was just looking at long range numbers. We're going to be approaching the 90 degree mark by early next week, so it is coming. We haven't done it yet this season or this year, but we're going to do it fairly soon. That's pretty normal. 85 today with sunshine, 86 tomorrow with mostly sunny skies. Thursday, 86 partly cloudy skies, 84 with a few thunderstorms on Friday. Fast forward into your weekend. There you have 86 on Saturday. I'll, I'll keep a low chance of rain there for Saturday. Don't think we're going to see much rain this weekend, though. So Jazz Fest and any other festivals or events going on looking great. And then there you have it. By next Monday, we're going to be flirting with the big 9-0. I do think we're certainly going to hit the 90s by around Tuesday of next week. Very nice.